Hello and welcome to another Omni game dev luck uh, and uh, yeah today I'm going to talk demo and uh, what I'm currently working at so uh, to begin with the demo is out I released it yesterday um, so now you can uh, try out uh, some of uh, Omni for yourself um, it's a pretty rough demo um, and I'm currently working to improve that um, which is why I am uh, this what you will see now uh, is already uh, a little different than the demo a little uh, it will be more different um, with the uh, added devils as well so yeah um, first and foremost I have added so uh, instead of uh, if you have tried the demo uh, normally he would start saying hey I better do a jog by pressing ND or uh, maybe do some jumping uh, jacks by pressing W. Instead now uh, I have these uh, small um, guides uh, to aid you because uh, I felt like too many uh, text boxes to say how to do this and how to do that sort of uh, chopped up the game too much. Uh, it felt like there was too many pauses from the game. So now you can like just react on oh A and D, okay, try yes, cool, that works. Uh, if you jump down here, you can see press W, cool. Um else you go over here. Then he will explain things like uh, the crystals and stuff like that. So yeah, but then it will say press W to jump, super. Double tap S. Cool. Do you remember the coins are hidden in the tree? No, I didn't, so we'll go up here. Hold this. Okay. Ah, then we crouch. Okay, cool. We get true. Nice. And that works. Press spacebar. Ah, cool. We can shoot. So now things are going a lot more fluid because of these things. Uh, they may be uh, tweaked even more. For example, I'm not too fond of the double message, like here, because that seems confusing. Um, so maybe I will do something like the the overlapping one will the the newest one will push the other one aside or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah. And then we we'll just need to place them in the room. So yeah, we have all these things. We still have some of the text boxes here, but now uh, it doesn't feel as chopped up. And again, I will come and check the uh, text box over here again. But again, that's more. Uh, explanatory uh, stuff. Also, I have decreased, okay, you cannot see them there. I have decreased the hurt time uh, in, in uh, vulnerable counter when you hit enemies. So now they're only uh, hurt for like uh, a quarter of a second uh, where you can't hurt them again. So that's, um, that's pretty much not at all. And uh, that makes you a little more easy to, uh, to fight them. Good, let's just use a shortcut here. Good. So yeah, here you can see like uh, now you can just keep shooting at them and you have a chance to defeat them. Um, whoops. So uh, that improved some of the fighting, made it a little more uh, faster. Uh, people have asked for that. Um, it felt a little slow before. So yeah. Um, sometimes there are some bugs with these uh, things. So uh, yeah. That's a little annoying, but uh, yeah, that's okay. Could be worse. And then there are a box with the with the boss uh, in the end here. Um, some things that I need to to work on. So we have the thing here happen, and he leaves, and that's fine. With boss arrives. There's first and foremost, uh, you don't need to get too close. Uh, then you're hurt. The mask is uh, very much off. Uh, also, sometimes there's a bug here where you will either die by the bug or stuff like that. Um, I don't really know what happens, but uh, yeah, I can work with it. Whoops, yes, uh, improve this a little so now it has a more range when he shoots. Um, yeah, so that, that is the like boundary issues, and that's because. For some reason, the Omni, um, whoops, that's over here now, super. Uh, the Omni, um, no, sorry, not the Omni, the, the Spine uh, assets 
the masks in, in Spine uh, doesn't work with game makeup, probably. Uh, you cannot set precise masks um, for some reason, uh, which is a little annoying. You used to be able to set them precise and then the mask you have set inside of Spine, those would work. But uh, yeah, and then you can go to the web. Cool, and that's you have seen this before in other dev logs. But in normally in in Spine you can uh, in gaming of Spine you could uh, you used to be able to uh, make the masks in, uh, in in Spine, and then you would uh, if you uh, pressed uh, if you didn't press precise it would just make a bounding box around the uh, sprite as usual, but around the masks of course. But uh, if you uh, did press the the precise, it would use these uh, uh, boxes as the mask, and that would be nice for uh, using this worm boss. And for that, we need the precise masks. Problem is that uh, that doesn't work. It keeps even if, if I press precise, it keeps uh, using uh, the big uh, bounding box, the the uh, the rectangular one. Uh, and not the the precise one, so I had to. And I can show you this actually in the enemy here. I have had to uh, do custom collision testing, which I haven't finished fine tuning yet. But that's pretty much just a lot of uh, collision rectangle uh, and collision circle uh, to make the the like. Uh, the body of the worm be able to uh, bend and stuff like that so it could be a lot better and uh, it's very buggy and it doesn't work and also it's very slow to do it like this way so um, yeah I, I will try to contact your games and ask what's up with that feature but uh, could also be because I'm using Maybe a too new runtime, or not a, a new newer version than of uh, of Game Maker. No, sorry, of uh, of uh, of Spine. I'm using uh, two point one two seven, and uh, that's the latest version that Game Maker can work probably with. But that might be what also makes this mistake. I don't know what runtime exactly Game Maker is using. I need to check that up. Um, because then I might be able to go into the uh, spine exporter JSON, and if there is, for example, a change in uh, what they call the masks or something like that, the bounding boxes, if that if that has changed from version to version, then of course Game Maker cannot read it because of their runtime is uh, older or something like that. Could be something like that, and if that's the case, then I can fix it myself. Um, but if that's that, if that's not the case, then it's a Error in Game Maker, I guess, and uh, hopefully your games can fix it. Until then, I will need to use like this make sh do it yourself system here. Um, that's pretty much what I have right now. So uh, next things I'm going to put into the demo is uh, of course refining. I have a lot a list of things I need to refine and make better and fix in in what we have uh, in the demo. But then I will begin adding the web. So we have like first the tumbler here, which I don't know if that's exact size it would be, but you know it's gonna be a big level. Um, and then after the tumbler, uh, this uh, girly side here where you will have an encounter with the Trojan horse and things like that. So uh, yeah, exciting. Um, my hope is that the demo is uh, fully fine um, at the end of the summer or sometime around that time. Um, hopefully I can also get to refine some of the few sound effects I put in. I just Click uh, quickly uh, wiped up a couple of sound effects, so they are not meant to be there. The sound effects just to have some sounds, um, so that could hope could hopefully improve a little. Uh, add some more as well. Um, refine my sound system. I have an engine to make there, and also a music engine. Uh, and hopefully, Rick will add um, some more music tracks, so it just doesn't keep being the same one. Um, 
so exciting times and uh, hopefully uh, you will try out as the changes come um when i have a solid part again uh, when the game is uh, solid again and i have uh, some new stuff to show i will update the the demo on uh, itch uh, io and uh, i'll put a link to the demo in the description by the way and uh, then uh, yeah we will have fun all of us and keep keep working keep working so um yes that was all for this uh, dev luck so uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you around bye